Do you notice anything a little strange here? Let's try this view. Maybe you've noticed that the dolphins are flipping when they get to the outside edges on the left and the right of these circle splines. In this quick tip, we're going to see how we can prevent this from happening. So how do we fix this? Well, we're actually going to take advantage of the rail spline option in the align to spline tag. Now, because we're using the tangential feature of this tag, which controls its rotation as it travels along the spline, then we can use the rail path. So we want to turn on tangential, and now we want to assign a spline. But what spline do we use? Well, we're just going to make a copy of the uh, original circle spline, and I'm just going to call it rail1. And I'm going to assign that into the rail path field. Now let's just try changing the size of this so it's bigger, smaller, neither of those are working. So what I'm going to do is just go into my top view and I'm just going to move it back a little bit just so that there's some separation. And let's go back into my circle cam here. So now we can see that it is no longer flipping on those edges. Let's check out the final animation. And there you go. I hope this helps. It's a really, really simple quick tip and uh, introduces you to one of the functions of the rail spline. Thanks everyone. If you're interested in personalized training or project assistance, visit cineversityoneonone.com and visit cineversity.com for more great tutorials and resources.